five minute warning after 15 minutes. Okay, but, but the time is shown on the screen. Yes. Yeah. Like to give you a warning if you like. Do you want a warning or not? Mm, okay, yeah, you, yeah. Maybe uh, you can. Depending on how many questions there are. Okay, so it means I, I should leave about five minutes for a. Okay, yeah. Maybe five. Okay. Yeah. Okay, folks. <coughs> Let's uh, start the workshop session today. And the first speaker is Professor Chen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm very glad to uh, to come here for this uh, AP school and workshop, uh, in particular in, in this uh, difficult time. So now, maybe I should, oh, can we put it? Okay, yeah, uh, I'm Jiang Mei Chen from the uh, National Central University of Taiwan. Okay, and today I will talk uh, about the, what we recently work on the uh, swinger effect in the charge black hole. Uh, in particular with the cosmological constant. This work is collaborated uh, with the, uh, uh, Professor Sam Biao Kim, who originally planned to come here, but because he, he was sabbatical in China, so, so now he cannot, he cannot, uh, cannot attend. Okay, so the outline of the, my talk, I will give some uh, introduction of our motivation of our uh, work. And then the, the, the main part, the, we will discuss the emission, the particle emission in particular, we will focus on the scalar field from the near horizon of the near extreme black hole with the cosmological constant. Okay. And uh, so in this, in this particular case, we can solve the system analytically and give the very cross form expression. But this all, of course only can, uh, for, only can uh, only work both for the, for the particular case near extreme case. And for the non-extreme case, there are some special cases we, we do can find some uh, exact solution. And I, I will find uh, time to uh, maybe just a few brief discuss about this and then give a discussion. Okay. So, so uh, we, are, we are interested to consider the uh, so-called uh, simultaneous pair production. So this means that in the, uh, in the uh, vacuum there are uh, a quantum fluctuation, but in, in, if there's no external uh, interaction or external force, usually the, the, the quantum fluctuation pair, pair produced will annihilate it. And the, but there are two uh, particular mechanisms can uh, uh, transform this uh, 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 quantum fluctuation become a real particle. One is a uh, so-called Hawking radiation by the gravitational uh, interaction near the, near the uh, horizon of black hole. But today we will more focus on the so-called swinger effect. So if the pair produce a particle uh, carrying, carrying charge, and then uh, under the, uh, applying the elect electric field, so the electromagnetic force can, can uh, separate these two particles. And uh, so in, if we consider in the flex, uh, flex space, this is the, the production rate is will, will have this, this kind of thermal form. So it depends or uh, proportional to this mass of the particle and the so-called uh, swinger temperature. And the swinger temperature here is about uh, two times of the angle temperature. Uh, because the electromagnetic force will uh, accelerate the charged particle, and the, so, the, so the, the temperature is just acceleration divided by two, two pi, just like the angle effect. But that's the factor two. And the, in the next page, we will see what the uh, 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 factor two come from, because there is a, okay, from the, okay, maybe you should, so, so this kind of swinger effect was generalized to the uh, uh, digital or anti-digital case. Okay, and then we will see that the the uh, two times of the angular temperature sep uh, look like a separate. One is remain the angular, but the other the other angular temperature get the correction because the curve uh, because the curve space time. Okay. So this is the so this is the receiver correction from the curvature of the digital and anti-digital. Uh, and this kind of so this kind of calculation also can up, uh, obtain from by considering the unsure uh, unsure action. Okay, so because so because unsure action we we can there is the uh, kinematic part and also the magnetic part. And actually, what the factor two is because the each one contribute uh, contribute uh, uh, about one angle angle effect uh, 
uh, contribution. Okay. So this is a this is the uh, swinger effect in first space time or in pure deceit or anti deceit. So now what what's the uh, such kind of mechanism in the charge black hole? Okay. So charge black hole we have uh, they they should have uh, working, working effect and they also have a uh, 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 electric field. So they should can also have the uh, swinger effect. Okay. So so. This is what our uh, motivation we, can, we want to consider uh, such kind of the swinger effect uh, in the charge black hole. Okay, but this becomes com uh, complicated. Okay, because the, uh, in the swinger effect calculation, uh, the system if we have uh, system usually we assume that the, con uh, the electric field is a constant. Otherwise, the calculation becomes more com uh, complicated. <coughs> but in the charge black hole, there's really a, 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 a particular limit. Okay. And uh, in this limit, the, uh, the, uh, the problem becomes more simpler. This is so-called a uh, near Ichimon, uh, or uh, Ichimon or near, even a near Ichimon black hole. So, <coughs> so if we consider the near Ichimon black hole, we know the near, Ichi, near Ichimon black hole ha, uh, have a ADS2 cross S2. Okay, if we, we focus the, the region near the horizon. Okay, and also this, the, the uh, electric field becomes a constant. Okay, so this, so in this background, uh, this is very, very uh, like a, a slight generalization of the swinger effect in the flat space or in the DC, DC, uh, the anti dc two. Okay, just like in the four dimension, but the four dimension was can, uh, is, is, is uh, the structure has the ADS two cross S two and also constant electric field. Okay, so this is what we want to uh, starting up, starting with this kind of the. Uh, this kind of the uh, uh, in, in this kind of background, okay. So, so for example, if we consider a trimal uh, iron black hole. There's no uh, Hawking radiation because a trimal black hole has a zero uh, Hawking temperature. But because, but they, they are still non non vanish electric field. So they still can have swinger uh, swinger effect, okay. So so in this case, this is the uh, the the extremal black hole is still un unstable and can can pair, uh, emit some uh, particle. Okay, so here I, in this talk I will uh, focus only on the spherical symmetric case. This is much simpler, but the, the calculation can be generalized to the rotation black hole. Okay, <coughs> okay. So now let's look uh, go back to more detail about our, our analysis. So we consider the uh, uh, rise the nose black hole. Okay, so the black hole has, uh, in the, with the cosmological constant, so there's the mass of black hole, charge of black hole, and this uh, L is the radius of the, uh, of the uh, either anti decider or decider space, depending on the cosmological constant is, is positive or negative. Okay, so in this case, usually we have two, uh, two horizon, outer horizon and inner horizon. But for the decider case, we have an another uh, ho cosmological horizon, okay. So there are two ho two positive horizon for the for the anti decider and the three three horizon for the for the decider case. Okay, but no matter the case, we, we consider near uh, extremum. This means the R plus and R mass are, are very close to each other. Okay, so this in in this sense, this means we are R plus and R mass very close to so called R zero, and this R zero can be obtained from uh, from the uh, solution of the uh, umbra hole. Okay, so now. So basically, we can we can write this. This uh, at all uh, we define this the delta. Okay, and delta we have two sign, uh, upper sign and lower sign, uh, depending on the the uh, space is the anti decider or decider. Okay, so here I should focus the anti decider or decider. This is the for four four dimensional space time, but there is the another decider. We maybe we will focus for this uh, decider two. Decider two is the anti decider structure near the horizon. Okay, so no matter the space time is. Decider or anti decider, the near horizon structure always the decider too. Okay. Okay. And so now we have the two two sides corresponding to the decider or anti anti decider case. <coughs> so we will consider the the near near extremum case and uh, also consider the the uh, geometry near the horizon. <coughs> and uh, this uh, we can do the some kind of rescaling. Okay. We rescaling this uh, this region and uh, to okay use the uh, to the different coordinate. A tau, tau and low coordinate. Okay, and we will <coughs> we will uh, address the the pair 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 production in this uh, <coughs> in this uh, coordinate in this space time. Okay, so technically this is the uh, rise the noise black hole. Okay, so this is the, the solution of rise the noise. This is a matrix and uh, 
uh, and the gauge potential. And this is the function of F. So this is the, in principle, this is a, a, a quadratic uh, 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 polynomial, and then we have, a, uh, we can solve the root, okay. And then for the anti, for the anti there are two positive root, and the decita there are three, okay. And, <coughs> okay, so we can, we can we consider the near Holland German limit to just, just rescale the uh, rescale the radial coordinate by this is the uh, each uh, radial by the epsilon low, and also uh, rescale the, the time coordinate, and uh, and then the mass is very uh, very close to the to the extremal mass by the deviation, okay, and by a small deviation, and this deviation in, indicate that we are, we we can we address the uh, this black hole. Is have a very very tiny uh, uh, tiny uh, uh, Hawking temperature, so this is why we call the near extremal. Okay, so anyway, mathematically, you if you just take a such kind of limit and put put in uh, substitute into the original space time and take a uh, uh, limit and we will, we will get this uh, uh, this solu this uh, solution. So this is the the match reduced to the the blue blue part is the anti dissipator and the uh, Green part is the, just just the uh, uh, S two. So the the space time decom decomposed into the uh, ATS two cross S two. But and then the uh, ATS two and S two have different uh, uh, radius. Uh, we denote this the ATS two R ATS two and R S. Okay. So uh, these two radius were depending on the cosmological constant. Okay. So in the cosmological, in the flat space time, this, these two RS and RATS, they are equal, okay? But in, with the cosmological constant, they have, uh, they are, they have different. And then also we have gauge potential here, and you, from this gauge potential, we will see uh, the electrical field is, uh, is a constant, okay? Okay, so this, this is the detail about the, the expression of the RS and RATS, and the, uh, the ho uh, Hawking temperature, and also the chemical potential on the horizon. <coughs> okay, and now we will consider uh, a, a, a complex uh, scatter in this in this background. So we try to solve the uh, klein golden equation of complex scatter and try to uh, analysis the pair production of charge scatter. Okay, of course this can be generalized for the spinner field if we consider the Dirac equation. <coughs> so for simplicity, we consider the scatter field trying to, to solve the klein golden equation. Okay, and uh, because the uh, space time is very symmetric, so it's naturally to de uh, de uh, to uh, assume the solution of complex scalar field composed uh, the uh, angular part is the spherical harmonic, and then we try to try to solve the radial part. Okay, so so then we sub, sub, uh, the klein golden equation will reduce to this uh, equ uh, this equation, and this equation can be treated as the uh, a scalar a scalar field in the uh, ATS space. Okay, <coughs> so from this equation we can read out what the effective mass. Okay, just just read out the. the the, uh, the con constant term in, in, uh, in this uh, uh, expansion. Okay, so this is the effective mass. And uh, the is effective mass it is, this is, the, this is the original mass of the, uh, of the scalar field, and this is the, due to the spherical, spherical, uh, spherical part contribution. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, <coughs> the uh, separat separating constant. And uh, this term is due to the electrical magnetic force. Okay, so electrical magnetic force interaction also uh, contribute like a uh, effective mass in the in the equation. Okay, and because this is the in uh, the field in the uh, in, uh, in the anti dissipator so this is the so called uh, BF bound. So if we want to have pair production, we should the, the parameter should violate the BF bound. Okay, so this is the we have the instability. Okay, and then in the anti dissipator space, the, uh, uh, two-dimensional anti-dissider space, this is the uh, uh, violation of the BF bound, and this gives us of the, this condition. And why, this, why we, we choose this mu square combination? Because this will show up if, in, the solution of, uh, in the solution of the, uh, of the uh, crank, uh, crank radial part of the crank golden equation. Okay. And uh, from here, we, we, you will see that this is, the two, this is the electrical magnetic force. And this is the mass, uh, this assumes that this, this, uh, the, uh, or inertial mass gets some kind of modification. One is coming from the physical part, and one is com coming from the uh, ATS, uh, ATS2, uh, instability of the ATS2, or be a bang of a uh, ATS, ATS2. So, so we, can, we, we define that the effective inertial mass gets modification by, by the physical uh, contribution and ATS2 contribution. So this is the curved space-time modi uh, modification of the, uh, of the inertial mass. 
okay, both the spherical part and the anti uh, uh, anti detector part. Okay, so now how we get the 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 uh, production rate? So we just try to solve the Klein uh, Klein equation, and then analysis the Klein Golden Klein Golden equation on the uh, different uh, different region, and the low equal to b and uh, and the uh, uh, low goes to infinity, and then we decompose the outgoing and the incoming on the both side. Okay. <coughs> And then we assume impose the boundary condition, say there's no in, low incoming way on, on the boundary. Okay. <coughs> so originally there are two integration of constant, but because this this uh, boundary condition, so the, the solution will will have only one uh, one integration constant. <coughs> and then we, then we can look at this three uh, three uh, uh, flux, fluxes. Okay. So <coughs> uh, intuitively, this fluxes will represent the the pair. Uh, Pair creation of the quantum, uh, quantum fluctuation, and this will will represent the reanalyzation, and the, the transmitter part will, will represent the the uh, the particle produced by by this uh, electric electric force. Okay, so so in this in this picture we can uh, get uh, the absorption cross section by dividing this flux with this flux, or we can in this talk I will more focus on the uh, production rate. Production rate is just the ratio of the of this flux divided by so just the transmit flux by uh, divided by uh, re re uh, the the uh, part okay yeah and for the, the solution of the uh, the solution of the Klein-Golden equation radio power Klein-Golden is actually the it is uh, it is a hypergeometry function and hypergeometry hypergeometry function has the uh, has a uh, 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 well-known relation which will help for, for our analysis. In, <coughs> namely, the, the, uh, we, we know how, how to relate the uh, uh, hypergeometry function uh, at z equal to zero and z equal to one. Okay. So, so usually, we, we, we try, this will uh, allow us to, to relate the solution here and the solution there. Okay. At i low equal to b and, and low equal to uh, infinity. <coughs> so this kind of the ratio actually it's coming from the, the coefficient in this transformation. Okay, this is important. So the pair production uh, result, in principle, is coming from the, uh, the this uh, gamma function in the in this kind of a transformation. Okay, and skip, okay, and skip the technical detail. We, we just we can, uh, okay, we, we can write down the the uh, the uh, mean number of a production <coughs> production rate. So the, in the solution, we are, there are three uh, three uh, parameter. Okay, one is the mu. We just uh, we we have we have seen uh, in, in in the previous transparency, and then there's another kappa and the uh, and the kappa tilde. Actually, kappa also appear in the mu. This is just the uh, electric force part appearing in in uh, in the mu. Okay, so kappa represent the the electric electric force. Okay, so this will uh, will give us the angle uh, will give the angle temp like the angle temperature in the in the uh, Schwinger effect. Okay, and the kappa tilde are well related to the working, uh, uh, the working temperature. Actually, the detailed calculation it can, can be found in our previous paper, but this, this one, this, all this will focus on the uh, asymptotic effect. And in this talk, I, I, I will present the, the result of, uh, with the cosmological constant. Okay. So now we can, we can rewrite uh, this form in terms of the uh, thermal quantity. Okay. So, for example, the the kappa minus uh, kappa minus mu, sorry, the kappa minus mu here and the kappa plus mu here is actually just the we can transform into the uh, the the previous f uh, form in the expression. This is the okay the angle uh, angle temperature received the some kind of uh, of the correlation and uh, okay. So here this is the picture. Uh, so this is the if we consider asymptotic flat. So this is the swinger. If swinger, this is the swinger temperature for the asymptotic flat. But if, but if with cosmological constant for this, this anti detector space, if we have a, a negative cosmological constant, the uh, the swinger if swinger temperature becomes increased, and uh, if we have a, a detector detector space, it, it's decreased. And this is because the the anti detector space, the the near uh, the extreme horizon is much far. Uh, uh, much much close or uh, is more close, and for anti uh, for the detector is much uh, far away. Okay, and so this is here. So in the uh, in the anti detector 
they they have a more strong uh, electric force, and for the uh, DC they have more weak in uh, weak uh, electric force. So this is this is why the we uh, the the uh, swinger swinger effect is enhanced in the uh, uh, digital anti digital space, but but reduced in the digital space. Okay. And the other the other part, which uh, kappa tilde can be transformed in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of the working temperature. Okay. So now we can we can we will have we can rewrite our uh, production rate in the, in this. Uh, uh, interested in form. So this here, this is the this is the well known the uh, the swinger effect in the uh, in the uh, this, uh, anti digital uh, in the ADS two, and this one is uh, give us the uh, swinger effect in the Rinder two. Okay. So the black hole is some kind in this background is some kind of the uh, uh, combination of these two effect together. Okay. So here we we only can we do not consider rotation, but if we uh, focus on the rotation, we will have get this uh, another another. Uh, 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 effect depending on the uh, angular ve uh, angular velocity. Okay, so this is the basically our main result in uh, for the for the uh, uh, <coughs> for the near extremum uh, near extremum black hole. So now maybe I quickly just mention how about the how about the uh, non extremum uh, black hole. So non extremum black hole, then the solution will be uh, so called the uh, Huhn equation. Okay, and when equation is the second order uh, ordinary differential equation with four poles. Okay, and this the equation was well, well known more than hundred years ago. Okay, but 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 our difficulty is we, we don't know such kind of relation. At, at least according to my understanding, I asked some mathematician, but okay, we can okay. yeah. It seems the for the human equation, we still do not have this such kind of relation. Okay, so this means we we still, uh, we are not able to uh, extract the the pair production in the uh, in the cross form, but but fortunately there, uh, there are some uh, two particular particular uh, 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 limit. Okay, for the uh, okay in particular there is one one for it, it, uh, limit for the trimmer black hole in which constant m equals m equals to omega, and, the, and this look like the force balance. Then the, then the solution reduced to the hypergeometry equation, and then we can we can uh, construct uh, or try analyze the, the the production rate, okay, in the uh, for the for the particular case of a non-extremal black hole, okay, and we are we are still looking try to analyze this uh, the, what's the physical meaning of this what's the, the this condition meaning of this we just. Mathematically, we just find interesting there is some kind of special event and reduce the Huhn equation to the hypergeometry equation. <coughs> okay, so this is the we, 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 we consider the uh, spontaneous pair production scalar figure in the near horizon uh, geometry of the uh, near extremum black hole with the cosmological constant, and we can get the uh, exact the, uh, the production, production rate. And this production rate have thermal, uh, has interesting thermal, uh, thermal interpretation. Okay. And we hope we can we can generalize our analysis to the non extremo in particular some special case we are able to to analyze but okay so this is, but before close the end of my talk I just want to show uh, in this summer uh, we were in Thai, we were organize the the uh, 14 international conference on gravitational astrophysics in, uh, in cosmology in Taiwan and original plan is the end of the June but but recently the inter, uh, in, uh, in international organizing committee just Worry about this virus, so so we discuss. We are uh, more, almost make a decision to to postpone this to the late August, but we still need to to fix the exact date. Okay, original. I, I just want to uh, uh, invite all 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 uh, participants here to come to to join to uh, to come to Taiwan to attend this conference, but. But because now we are, we still not uh, fix the the day yet. Maybe after we we have a more precise moment, I will ask In Yong to to send the message to everyone. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.
approaching to the ADS of the vector in infinite? No, actually, we, we consider the pair production on, uh, on the region will be close to the horizon. Yeah, so my question would be uh, how digital or ADS markers on the network will be applied? No, but the near, because the near horizon structure will, will depend on, for example, the location of, uh, of the horizon will depend on, on the uh, cosmological constant. Uh, okay. Yeah, and the location and also the, the, uh, the radius of the ADS2 and S2 will depend on the cosmological constant. Oh. It's an infinite cosmological constant, yeah. So that's the effect on it, yeah. <coughs> so for example, for the, for the anti-decitor, the horizon will be a little bit clo closer than the flat space time. So the, so the swinger effect enhanced. Okay, because the electric field most, is more stronger, yeah. This is also, very, also a very naive question. Okay. Um, so, so can you also estimate the lifetime of the extreme block hole through the, this super effect, like the evaporation time of the source? Yeah, we, we are in the but we still not kind of, because so far, you, you see, we, we, okay, we still not consider the back reaction of this uh, into the, uh, in, into the, 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 the space time. Okay, so now, Klein Gordon equation is just like a, some kind of pop limit. Okay, and we, we just want to see what, what the, give the condition for the black hole, okay, to, to uh, have such kind of, of pair production. Up. But if we want to consider, yeah, this is the, our, our, uh, uh, our plan, we, this we need to consider the back, back reaction of this radiation back to the original geometry and then, yeah, but this m m becomes more, more complicated. Yeah. I, I know this is an interesting question, but we still don't uh, answer yet. Yeah. Is the generic picture for the, the heuristic picture for the, for the lifetime that the Schwinger effect will drive it away from extremality? And at some point, yeah. it will lose all this charge, and then the Hawking effect has yeah. to take over and kill the Yeah, this, okay, I forgot, but maybe this is more, uh, more clear for the, uh, sorry, where is the new? Yeah, so for example, this condition, uh, okay, let, let's look at the uh, asymptotic flag case, it's more easier. Asymptotic flag case, uh, RADS and RS is the same. So this is just one, and this is just one. So if this is, what, this is a positive, if we do not look like this, it means the mass should be smaller than the, smaller than the charge. So the radiation, the, the pair production radiation, the charge much more than the mass. Okay, so this will sweep the extremal to the non-extremal, but never, oh, never produce the negative singularity. Yeah, so this is also information from this uh, instability condition. So instability condition, so this means the, the pair produced the particle should carry charge more than mass. So this means black hole will lose charge more than the lost mass. Yeah, during yes. this and, and at some point, the, the rate of mass loss will be dominated by the Hawking effect and not by the Schwinger effect. When, when the Schwinger effect takes away a lot of the charge, yeah. it, it will eventually get to a point where the Hawking yeah. effect will take over. Yeah, so, so, if we want, so this is the if we want to consider lifetime, then we, we we cannot avoid, we should, we should make together about these two, two effects. But here we only, because we, we consider the near extreme this means the Hawking temperature is small. But if we want to consider a pair of them, maybe they will drift a little bit away from the extreme, extremality and then the Hawking temperature is also important and then, the, but this, yeah, this is interesting question, but more, but difficult, <laughs> yeah. Do we have any other? Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so I'm 
Hyung-chan Kim from Korea National University of Transportation. Today, uh, I will talk about regular warmer solution in general relativity. Uh, because, okay, I have 25 minutes, okay. Uh, uh, as uh, you can see the number here, so, uh, well, the left one is the years and the right one is uh, uh, the number of papers on archive mentioning wormholes. So you can see that the number is uh, continually increasing and last year there is uh, 134 papers about wormholes. Maybe the reason is, uh, yeah, one, is uh, one important reason is uh, the movie Interstellar, <laughs> and uh, mm, the others, maybe the modified gravity series, allows uh, one to compose the wormhole uh, without exotic matters. And there is some motivation which studies uh, <coughs> the wormhole by, by, from this con ER EPR conjectures. Okay, let's go. Uh, this is the content. And uh, before we going further, I will introduce the terminology used in the warmer solutions. Uh, considering a space-like section in the warmer space times, uh, there is two asymptotic reasons, A1 and A2, and there is two mouses connecting, uh, uh, connected by the wormholes, and the two mouses are connected via a handle. And inside of the handle, there is a throat. Usually, it is filled with exotic matters. <coughs> In fact, the length of the handle does not depend on the distance between the, uh, this is distance between the, uh, the mouses in the external space. So maybe faster space travel is possible. Uh, in fact, there are a few other things in this wormhole geometries. Uh, because the wormhole is an object, uh, but there is two asymptotic reasons. The two is uh, not symmetrical. Therefore, the ADM mass M1 and M2 are not the same of the wormhole, and the size, the radial size, may not be the same. Then, uh, if the two A1, A2 is separated, there is no problem, but if the two are connected, it makes some, some problems. Uh, we need to think of some more things. So for an observer who throw, tra travels through the wormholes, the speed of flow nine pro in A1 and A2 are different. Then their time-like killing vectors can be absent because of this, and sometimes it can make closed time-like curves. Okay, then why do we search for new warmer solutions? There are two reasons. Because first, the traditional warmer solution were obtained by using a thin shell method. So the matter is confined to a narrow region around the throat. Uh, therefore, uh, this requires a read which confines the exotic matter in the throat. Then uh, it's natural to search for solution without reads. Second, the traditional way of finding one more solution is gas metric first, satisfying the flare out condition, and then find the equation of a state for the corresponding matter by calculating the Einstein tensor. Uh, then, naturally, the equation of a state of matter must be position dependent, and it is not easy to find out appropriate matter satisfying the equation of a state, and the solution space cannot be complete. To overcome this, uh, we go to the, uh, the opposite direction. First, the space by the matter, then serve the Einstein equations. And then we can categorize all the wormhole solutions. Okay, so this work is based on the general relativity without cosmological constant of this form of actions. And we assume spherical symmetry, so there is a two unknown functions, F and MR and the M is the integration of density. And we assume the matter is anisotropic with a linear equation of a state. So the radial pressure and the angular pressure is different. 
there are two equation of stage, W1 and W2, representing the matters. Okay, let's go to the Einstein equations. Then the GTT part and GRR part, combining the two, we can have the, an equation for F like this. So we can write F function in terms of mass like in this form by an integration form. As you see here, uh, here is R minus 2M. So if R equal to M, then it appears that it appears some coordinate singularities. <clears throat> On the other hand, if we combine the T over equation and uh, uh, this equation, uh, then we can also find another form of the function f. Then this form is only determined by the density. So it appears there is no singularity on f. Now, uh, there are only one equation remains on the mass. So this is second order differential equation. But if we introduce two dimensionless variable u and v, like this, so u is, uh, uh, we can think that mass, v is uh, density. Then uh, this second order equation becomes the first order equation of these forms. So this is uh, the equation what we wanted to serve. And here we introduce the two constants, v, b, and s. And v, b is, uh, uh, the, in fact, the throttle value of v, and the s is uh, a slope of a uh, uh, line, which we will show in the next slide. And now, now check for the existence condition for a wormhole. So at the wormhole's road, the GRR must have a coordinate singularity. Uh, therefore, let us assume that GRR takes these forms with the positive Z. Then, from this equation, from this equation, uh, we get the FR takes these forms. And here R minus B is exponent, and to avoid singularity, to avoid coordinate singularity or event horizons, uh, this function, this, this exponent should vanish. Then this determines G uh, with to these values. And because G is positive, we have these restrictions for W1. Yeah. Uh, then, because G is determined, we can uh, determine the mass function around the throat, and it takes this form. Then, uh, it's a derivative at B. B is the size of the homo throat. Then, it is determined in this form, completely determined. So, this is the previous mentioned for a constant of AB. Now, we have two types of homo throat. First is for the case of negative energy density case W1 is positive, and then the mass function decreases from P of 2 with R. And the second is phantom like matter, W1 is smaller than minus 1. In this case, the mass function increases with R because density is positive values. Now, let us give us some general analysis for these uh, equations. Uh, in, this, in this equation, there are four interesting lines and points on the UV plane. Uh, so, uh, dV equals zero on R1 and R2, and on R2, uh, a solution curve faces horizontally, and the DU equals zero on B1 and B2, and on B2, the solution curve faces vertically. On the other hand, on R1, on R1, uh, V equals zero and dV equals zero. So, solution cover cannot touch this, this line, except for special points, these two points. And on B2, u equal 1 and d u equal 0. Well, therefore, the solution cover cannot touch this V1, only except, uh, yeah, except for these two points. And this is uh, the variation of a radius r. It is determined by du and 2v minus u, du over 2v minus u. So the radius increase or decrease with u when the curve is above or below v2. And the radius increase or decrease with v depending on many factors. I will write uh, here as a cyan arrow 
va, uh, to, uh, to denote the increasing direction over the radius. So uh, you can find here how to, uh, you can find the characteristic plot, characteristic feature of the solution curve. Uh, so PV is uh, one more throat. So the radius increase, he increasing in this direction. So if uh, we go up uh, like a gray curve, it touches, it uh, 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 passes out horizontally and then decreases to go to the O. And if we go down, it also go to the O because radius increasing in this direction. And usually the O is denotes the asymptotic reasons are equal infinity. And as you see in, in the uh, black curve, you can see that the curve uh, uh, passes the blank line vertically. So uh, this blank line has uh, one asymptotic reason and uh, singular n. The other end is singular. Okay. Now I will show the asymptotic behaviors around the O. For, uh, around the O, U and V is uh, very small, and then the equation, uh, the, the equation is reduced in this form, and this gives us exact solutions in, in, you know, in, this, in this forms, and then the radius takes this form. So if alpha is positive, when V go to zero, R becomes an asymptotic infinity. And the mass function takes these forms. Uh, so when alpha is rather than 1, the mass function diverges at O. On the other hand, when alpha is one from 1 to 0, uh, 0 to 1, then it approaches to a finite value, and it, the geometry is asymptotically flat. So we are mainly interested in this case. So behavior around the warmer throat, there are two behaviors. So first is the linear one, U and V is linear, like this form, and the other is a uh, quadratic one, like this one. The, the first case uh, uh, gives us symmetric solutions uh, from the upper and the bottom is symmetrical. The, bottom, the second case gives us symmetric solutions for the wormholes. And the radius takes this form, so uh, radius uh, takes its minimum value at the uh, one more sort of PP. And the, this uh, symmetric solution can be obtained in the large kappa limit of the asymmetric solutions. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, character, uh, categorize the solution, solution core solutions. So for the phantom-like case, uh, uh, we can categorize the solution space in, in three, three different cases, one, two, three, depending on the uh, slope S, because every other uh, line, B1, B2, and R1 are fixed, but R2 is dependent on, on the equation of state. Then you can easily find that for this type three case, uh, every solution curve go to the uh, vehicle infinity reasons. Therefore, there is no asymptotic poly solution here. So uh, we discard this case. For the type two, you can find that one end go to O, and it has an asymptotic poly one, but the other end go to V equal infinity. So it, it has a, a, a singular end. Uh, for the type one, uh, you can find that both ends can end at O. So uh, both ends has, are asymptotically free. So uh, this type one is uh, our main interest. Okay, for the negative energy density case, we can also divide it into three different cases, four, five, six, and you can also find that type six has uh, no asymptotic free reasons. There, and uh, there is one asymptotic free reasons and you can find that for this type of case, uh, both ends has, are asymptotically free. So for, for the system, uh, for, uh, for the type 1, 2, and 4, 5, uh, having asymptotic reasons, for all cases we have that W1 and W2 is negative. Therefore, uh, isotropic fluid cannot form asymptotically free regular wormholes. Okay. 
Uh, this is a numerical solution for the phantom-like method, W1 minus 1 case. You can find both and and O. Uh, there exists some and O. So this is a symmetric solution. This blue one is symmetrical solutions. And this is for the case with the negative energy case. And you can find that both ends of the curve end at O. So uh, it, it, one, end, one curve starts from PB and here, the other go to here. So, okay. There are uh, analytic solutions we can, we can keep, we can solve exactly. For example, for this case, uh, so the energy density plus pressure, some of the pressure vanishes, then the TO equation can be solved ex explicitly to give the, this curve. And uh, the solution curves uh, takes this form. And this is for phantom like case, this is for the negative energy case. In fact, uh, the simplest case, lambda equal zero case, was uh, is uh, known in before. Uh, then the solution is just a V equal V B equal U. This linear one and uh, the radius takes this form. Then energy density and the metric takes this form. And this is a already known solution in the literatures. And another another analytic solution is possible for these cases. And this the solution takes these forms. Uh, and each solution cover takes this form. So one end has asymptotic free, the other end is singular. Okay, let us summarize the result. I think I have uh, <laughs> kit fell fast. Okay, let us summarize the result. We have classified spherical symmetric wormholes in GR which do not have rays constraining exotic materials. And for the warmer space time to be non-singular, it should be belong to type one or four. So the density and the equation of states should satisfy this or this. And exact, exact analytic solutions and the numerical solution were found and the slot geometry is in fact, insensitive to the angular pressure, if one use minimal amount of exotic matter, then one can use a truncated solution and add reads. In this work, we didn't deal with stability issues, and it should be addressed later. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Angular, you you mean rotating solution? Uh, yet uh, there is no known or non rotating one more solution yet, but I think it is possible uh, by incorporating human Janis mechanism like such things. It may be possible. But I didn't try it yet. Usually, uh, can you consider the warmer uh, uh, solution to be the crucial coordinate? Crucial coordinate? Ah yes yes you can you you can introduce uh, an x coordinate like this uh, uh, square root the r equal to x like uh, uh, you can introduce that that kind of coordinate so uh, like uh, so uh, uh, like this is x uh, you can introduce x direction here instead of r Yes, yes. 
in this equation, I have introduced, you know, I needed to introduce two patches of spherical symmetric metric for, for upper and for bottoms, and should attach at, at, the, at the throat. However, uh, at the present case, I don't need because uh, this uh, uh, co solution curve V did the roles. So in this curve, uh, this is the upper part and this is the bottom part. So I don't need to introduce another coordinate here. We can do the role. Uh, not, not black holes, <laughs> just the regular uh, space time, yes. Uh, and this is a traversable room also. There is no event horizon. So let's just see the metric. So for example, this one. Uh, GTT is minus F0 is a constant, GRR is take this form. And this is a symmetric solution, so both ends take these forms and uh, uh, the Womer solution is for, in, if we want to write the metric in terms of V, okay, then it, it can express both, both sides. So, we don't need to introduce another coordinate in this, in this form. Okay. How do you detect this? Detect? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there are some works uh, how to detect wormholes. Uh, so for example, uh, some guys says that if we measure uh, right from the other side, uh, right from the star in the other side uh, from here, uh, then it, it can measure. Uh, there are some works, uh, but I don't know. This thing? Yes. The light of it is coming from the wormhole. Yeah. Then this, you can have a smoking gun signal that, okay, this can be a wormhole. Like, for example, a black hole, you do need, you don't, you do need that, that okay, black hole lensing is there, other things are there. How do you distinguish this from other things? So you so mean? If I see in the sky, there's a star shining, and then yes. if, a, if a light coming from a wormhole, that's also shining. Yes. How do you distinguish it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yet I don't know. If so the solutions are regular and state okay. what he says at the end doesn't matter. Then then they will have a different gravitational wave signal. Okay. Yes. Okay. But yeah, there are there are some works I'm not quite sure about. Uh, this is a static one. 